Okay guys, welcome back to Miss Clark Does Science. Today we're carrying on with our 1.1 biology unit cells and the movement across cell membranes. We're moving on to the movement across cell membranes part today by looking at diffusion as the movement of substances down a concentration gradient and the role of the cell membrane in all of this. Diffusion then. Over here we have the official definition, which is diffusion is the movement of substances down a concentration gradient. Now what does this word here mean? Because I think this makes sense. Movement of substances, okay, down a concentration gradient. A gradient is basically a hill or a steep incline or decline. It's a gradient. Concentration is how much stuff there is in one place. So if diffusion is the movement of substances down a concentration gradient, it usually means that you go from an area of lots of things to an area of not so much. So it would go in that direction, down a concentration gradient. That's where that word comes from. Okay, and over here we have kind of an example of it happening. So someone's putting some purple dye into a beaker of water and you can see that the dye immediately goes to the middle but then it starts to basically spread out. Diffusion is almost a fancy word for spreading out. It's filling up the container, bumping into the water molecules until it becomes fully diffused. Now, you also need to know the role of the cell membrane in this. And last time I told you that the cell membrane controls what goes in and out of the cell. And when we talk about diffusion, this is particularly important because it's how things move in and out of cells through diffusion a lot of the time. Now, it says up here we have a high concentration of particles outside the cell compared to the inside. Because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in the middle, and I am not going to count the outside. There is more than 12 on the outside. And this arrow here is showing you which way these particles are going to move. So these guys are all going to start coming into our cell. The reason being is this cell membrane is selectively permeable or partially permeable. The membrane actually looks like this. It's got tiny little holes where these particles can go through. Now I stress here, these holes are tiny. Okay, so they only allow things that will fit through it to pass through by diffusion. What will happen is these particles will all start to move across to the inside until the concentration is equal. So until this gradient kind of becomes horizontal where we have the same amount of stuff on each side, that's when there's basically no net movement, we call it. No net movement. That doesn't mean that things don't move at all. It just means that there's an equal flow of stuff going out as there is going in. So there's no net change. There's no overall change in the two sides of it. Okay, so that's how the cell membrane is involved. In the next video, we'll be looking at how we can use visking tubing to model everything we've talked about today.